Well, hello and welcome to Tuesday Talks with Craig. I'm uh, outside on a nice sunny day uh, towards the end of August here and um, just enjoying the sunshine right now. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about light and um, the fact that in summertime we get to enjoy the, the light of the sun, the warmth of the sun. I know uh, my girls have been enjoying just being outside tanning in the sun this summer um, and just to enjoy the outdoors and uh, this idea of the sun and the, the light that it provides and, and sort of the life that comes through the light of the sun. You know, the sun helps give life to uh, the, the grass and um, in our situation you can maybe see it's a little too much uh, browning out the grass. Um, but the light of the sun you know, helps bring life. And also in the summertime, um, at night, you can see some pretty amazing lights as well. A couple of weeks ago there was a, a meteor shower uh, a week or two uh, ago and uh, Tammy dragged me out really late one night. I was a little bit grouchy about it but uh, after going out to, to look it was pretty fun. Uh, we watched this meteor shower and in the span of uh, probably 45 minutes or an hour or so uh, just saw these amazing lights you know floating across the sky and uh, and you know they weren't huge um, but some pretty cool uh, displays of light and while we were waiting for the meteors uh, to go passing through the sky um, you could just see all the stars all the constellations and all the sort of the night lights lighting up the sky and the contrast between the darkness at night and the lights that uh, that shine in the midst of the darkness so I want to just kind of think about this idea of light and uh, talk about Jesus a little bit and this fact that Jesus came as the light to the world, the true light uh, that gives life to everyone. So John chapter 1 talks about Jesus coming into this world uh, as the light. And let me just read, uh, the, I think it's verse 4 and 5. It says, In him, in Jesus, was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Jesus is described in many ways in the book of John. You know, he's described as the bread of life. He's described as uh, the way, the truth, and the, the life. He's uh, described as living water. Um, and in John chapter 1, Jesus is described as the light, uh, the light of the world that came into the darkness, and uh, it sh he shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome his light. So if you think about light, think about some of the qualities of light. Like I just said, the sun provides light and a, a sense of warmth. Um, the light um, helps us to see uh, when it's light outside, you know, we can see more as opposed to at night when it's dark. Um, so the light provides warmth, it helps us see, but the other thing that the light does is it penetrates darkness. Where there is light, darkness cannot exist and in John chapter 1 when Jesus says that uh, or when John says that Jesus is the light of the world and the darkness has not overcome it what he's actually saying is that the light of Jesus actually penetrates the darkness it displaces the darkness if you think of a room in your house and you turn on a light uh, and if you turn on multiple lights in any given room the more light you have in a room the less darkness there is. And I want to just uh, kind of encourage us this morning with a bit of an invitation to let the light of Jesus fill us so, so much that there's just little to no room for darkness in our lives. Jesus came to penetrate the darkness of our world and that starts in the hearts of each and every one of us. In each and every one of us we battle the darkness and there's different forms of darkness in our lives and darkness might take the form of fear, darkness might take the form of uh, bitterness, darkness might take the form of hate or greed or envy. You know, darkness can take on many different forms and I want you to sort of ask the question of yourself, where, is, where might there be darkness in my life? And what might that darkness, what, what form is that darkness taking? Like I said, is there fear? Is there bitterness? Is there greed? Is there envy? Is there hatred? 
Is there unforgiveness? Maybe somebody who's hurt you and, and you're holding that over them, that, that bitterness and unforgiveness um, can take root and create darkness in our lives. What kind of darkness might exist in your life? And then ask the question, if you were to let the light of Jesus fill you, how could he displace that darkness? How could he penetrate that darkness? How could he transform the darkness of your life? Because I believe that Jesus can do that. He wants to do that. For example, if, if fear is a form of darkness in your life, Jesus wants to fill you with his peace. If hatred or uh, bitterness is a form of darkness in your life, Jesus wants to fill you with love and compassion. If unforgiveness is a form of darkness in your life, Jesus wants to fill you uh, with forgiveness, the ability to forgive those who've hurt you, that you're holding it over them. The light of Jesus wants to penetrate. He wants to penetrate our lives. He wants to transform us. He wants to drive out the darkness of our lives so that we can become more like him. Again, that uh, passage in John says that uh, in Jesus was life. And the life of Jesus is the light of all mankind. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Jesus wants to fill you with his overflowing, abundant life. John chapter 10 says, says that Jesus came to give us life and give it to the full. And the fullness of life in him is a, 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 a life that's full of the light of Jesus, penetrating the darkness, changing us and transforming us to be more and more like him, but also to enjoy the fullness of life that he desires for us. So I want to encourage you to, to look to the light. Just like Tammy and I a couple of weeks ago went out and looked up in the sky and, and waited for that meteor shower and looked for those, those passing uh, lights in the sky. We were focused, we were intent, we wanted to see the light. I think that's a similar posture for us. We need to focus our desire, focus our intent, focus our eyes on Jesus, look to him as the light of the world, and then invite him in. Let him do a work in your life, in your heart, to change you, to drive out the darkness, so that he can fill you with the life that he desires for you. We're living in uh, interesting days these days, and there's lots going on in our lives, lots of different circumstances and decisions and, and things that we're facing. And we are in a battle between light and darkness. So look to Jesus, the true light. Let him penetrate your life and transform you into the, the child of God that he desires you to be. I'm praying for you today and uh, hope to see you again next week for our next Tuesday talk. Blessings on you.